So I've basically been jobless since early 2021. And within these two years, I've managed to turn the side hustles that I picked up during the pandemic into full-time jobs that are now making me six to $10,000 a month. I'm making more than triple what I was making in my retail job and I'm never stressed or burnt out because I genuinely enjoy the things that I'm doing. So in today's video, we're gonna be getting into how you can do the exact same with a set of rules that I've been following to scale my income. Now, before we get into this video, let me quickly introduce myself for those of you who are new here. Hi, my name is Gio and I make videos on how you can make a passive income online and how you can become the best version of yourself. And before we get into the rules of how you're going to be monetizing your hobby or skill, the first thing we need to do before any of that is actually find out what this skill or hobby is that we're going to be getting into. So we're going to go through that with a set of questions that you need to ask yourself in order to find out what this hobby or skill is that we're going to monetize. For all of you that sit there thinking, okay, I don't think I'm that skilled. I don't think I'm that talented. I don't really have any interests that stand out. Just understand one thing. And this is a concept that I came up with very early in my entrepreneurship journey that has been proven time and time again. And that concept is that you only need two things in order to be great and to be successful. One being a skill or a hobby that you have more knowledge in than the average person. And two, the dedication to continue nurturing that hobby or skill for the rest of your life. So realistically, you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be super talented in any of your interests or hobbies that you have right now. As long as you're willing to learn and improve on that skill, success is inevitable. So keeping that in mind, what we're gonna do is actually write down these hobbies or skills skills all on a piece of paper or you can even do it on your notes app on your phone you're literally just going to list all of the hobbies all of the interests and all of the skills that you currently have from here you need to go and do a little bit of research to see if anyone else on this earth has actually managed to make money with this passion that you have this is important because if the answer is no it could mean one of two things either it's a winner and you're going to be the first human to actually make money with this skill which means it's super unsaturated in a good way so you won't have any competition or it's unsaturated because there's not enough people that are actually interested in this hobby or skill now while you don't want this hobby to be completely unsaturated where there's no competition you also don't want it to be too oversaturated where there's a crazy amount of competition and it makes it harder for you to even get started in it for example the beauty niche is super super saturated you see thousands if not millions of makeup artists all over the world and that's exactly why if you want to get into this niche for example you need to make sure that you have something very unique to offer now as a final task to find in this desired hobby that we're going to monetize we're going to just quickly go through the list again and see if we can group any of these hobbies together in doing this you might actually be able to find something that's super super unique and very niche down to your interests say for example that you put down i don't know like doing nails you like watching anime and you're a good artist if you group those together you could get into designing like press on nails that are anime themed that would be super niche but because of course there's millions of nail artists out there but there's not that many that are into the anime niche for example so you'd have a super targeted audience that would be interested in the same hobbies as you and the beauty of having a super targeted niche like that is that it's very easy to grow a following because for one these are your interests you've basically found your people and it's easier to see a long-term business out of something like that because it's literally grouping your your interests or passions together it's super important to see a long-term business in any of the hobbies or skills that you've picked because trust me when you genuinely have a passion there for something you're more likely to stick with it because it's going to keep you feeling fulfilled you're going to be getting out of bed in the mornings feeling super excited and motivated to work on whatever craft it is that you're into but one thing i can't stress enough is to not put too much pressure into finding your it thing like your it hobby or skill that you're going to turn into a business because in doing so it's so easy to overthink your way and to not actually start in any kind of side hustle that fulfills your skill or hobby just pick your hobby or skill and stick with it for now everything else will fall into place you might even find yourself steering towards a whole other hobby or topic that's still quite related and you might even have to rebrand it's normal it happens just get started i promise you the main thing is that you get started and take the necessary steps to get everything running so the first rule to actually monetizing this hobby now that we've picked it is to provide value and yes i get that this hobby is something you want to make money off but understand that giving out free value is what's going to build up your audience earn their trust and their love and their support and that's ultimately what's going to make you money there's a psychological concept called the law of reciprocity i hope i'm saying it correctly but this essentially states that we as humans feel in debt when someone does something nice for us and this is very true because i'm pretty sure you guys have been in that cycle of maybe that one awkward co-worker that gave you like a slice of cake or a present for your birthday and now you found yourself every year where you're kind of going back and forth like okay cool i have to give you a present because you gave me a present last year and then it's just like a continuous cycle and this is very much true in business because think of it this way say there's two gym bros that are trying to sell their fitness program right 
and the first guy is simply handing out flyers and the second guy is offering people a free mini consultation with a custom meal plan who do you think is going to get the most signups to their fitness program obviously the second guy because for one he's gone and proved that he knows exactly what he's talking about these potential customers are going to understand from the free value that he gave that he has a lot of knowledge in whatever it is that he's doing and that he has a lot of value to provide this makes him seem more knowledgeable and more trustworthy than the first guy and that's exactly why he's going to make way more money understand that the more free value you give the more money you're going to make in the long run trust me people know when you have their best interests at heart and when you're simply just trying to line your pockets with their money so it's important that you're being genuine and everything that you have to offer to your audience is actually going to benefit them in some way moving into rule number two which is keep learning and improving and get rid of those self-limiting beliefs trust me when i say there's always going to be people out there that know way more than you or might appear to have way more talent than you instead of seeing it as competition and getting jealous see what you can learn from them don't put yourself down because you feel like you're less of an expert than someone else as long as you know more than the average person does in any given topic like i said earlier you're good to go i promise you there's hundreds of thousands of people out there that don't know how to do whatever it is that you know how to do so what these people will do is they'll either pay for a service from you or they will pay you to teach them it doesn't matter how small you see yourself right now as long as you're constantly learning and improving on these skills or hobbies that you have there is no way that you're not going to be successful you need to simply make it your goal to be constantly better at whatever it is that you're doing and like i said said if you ever find yourself comparing yourself to other creators in your space just remember that they don't know everything they just know slightly more than you so what that means is that you just need to put in that work and make sure that you're on your a-game moving into rule number three which is posting relevant content consistently in your niche now with this you have multiple options you have tiktok you have instagram you have youtube I personally recommend that you go for all of them. And that might sound like a little bit of a stretch, but hear me out, okay? If you start a YouTube channel, not only are you gonna get paid for the video itself through Google AdSense, you'll also be able to get paid through affiliate links in your description. So you know when people just like click the link down in my description, it's normally an affiliate link where they get paid a cut whenever you make that purchase through that link. And thirdly, you'll also be getting paid for promotions or companies will literally send you free products for you to be using that are related to your niche. And instead of having to make content for TikTok and Instagram, Instagram and YouTube Shorts. All you have to do is repurpose those TikToks onto your YouTube Shorts and your Instagram, and you'll be building an audience on multiple platforms with just that one piece of content that you've made. You showing up on all social media platforms consistently is what's going to build your audience. And like I mentioned in rule number one, giving out good value consistently is essential for turning these strangers into subscribers and followers. You want to show these people from the get-go that you're here to help them elevate in whatever hobby or skill it is that you're going to be teaching them. You need to master the art of giving out free game without expecting anything in return at the start and before we move into the fourth rule let me just stress something very quickly you need to make sure that the content or the free value that you're giving out is 100% legit and relevant. It's so important to only promote honest, genuine, and valuable free information. Because say you promote something that you haven't actually used before and it turns out to be really low quality, that's gonna damage your reputation very, very badly. Rule number four is something that I've actually noticed a lot of content creators struggle with because I've noticed some incredibly talented people out there, but their content just wasn't reaching as many people as it should have been because they didn't have marketing skills. Correct marketing is super important. So if you decide to be an influencer, content creator, whatever it is, you Need to really get in with the algorithms and how they work whether you decide to be on instagram tiktok or youtube like i said spend some time seeing what kind of content does best and just keep on replicating that and something i want to make you very aware of if you're like a more shy or timid person is that it's way easier to build an actual audience and build like a proper connection with your audience if you're showing your face on the internet and this is coming from someone that has zero instagram posts on their main instagrams okay i absolutely hated being on camera i've always been concerned about oh my gosh what are my friends or family gonna think if they see my youtube channels or me being on the internet i thought that people would find it cringe so getting on camera is something that i never saw myself doing but one thing i realized is that i'm a very special person and i have a lot of special talents and skills that i want to share with other people and if you take anything away from this video i want you to understand one thing you really have to stop being afraid of putting your content out there because you think people are going to judge you or because you think people are going to think it's cringe because trust me these people's opinions do not pay your bills the sooner you realize that, the better. And I'm telling you, you're not awkward on camera. There's nothing wrong with your face, your teeth, your voice. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Any of these excuses that you're making for yourself are literally just putting you into a box. And you're literally messing up the only shot that you have at being great in this lifetime. The only person that's stopping you right now is you. You need to be able to stop focusing so much on what people are going to think about you and put your focus more into how you can actually help beginners in your hobby to become just as good as you or even better. So yeah, always focus on improving your marketing skills. If you just 
decide to show your face good on you and if you don't don't stress it there's always ways that you can create content without actually having your face in it in your given niche also understand that people don't really care to learn from people that are literally just re-spouting stuff that they've learned from the internet they want to learn through someone who's actually experienced the highs and the lows that typically come with learning the hobby or skill that you decided to go with i'm teaching people financial freedom and self-improvement not because i have a degree in it but because i actually enjoy it and i've been doing it for a while i've experienced the highs and the lows i've made i've made thousands of mistakes and so i feel like i'm qualified to give my opinions and my tips you want to make sure that you come across as a friend or a mentor instead of someone that's literally just repeating stuff that they found off the internet rule number six is find a way that works best for you to monetize your hobby or skill always remember that there's never just one way to monetize your skill or hobby and there's some ways that may work amazing for you and some ways that may not it's literally all about trial and error you could decide that you want to sell your own course so this could be on your own website where you're fully independent or you could list yourself on like skillshare or coursera you could decide to sell templates for example you could decide to sell physical products say for example you want to become a lash tech or a hairdresser you're not just limited to making money through actually doing your client's hair you could literally make courses on it you could literally make ebooks for other beginner lash techs hairdressers whatever i just said literally just anything that you can make that you can resell back to your audience that you know that they would find useful or that they might enjoy you have so many options there so you literally just need to go for whatever feels right and don't knock any method until you actually try it because trust me you could be sitting on a gold mine with proper research and some experimenting you will find your thing trust me on this rule number seven is linked but this is to present a unique product to the market so once you've decided exactly how you're going to monetize your skill you want to make sure that this stands out to your audience if you've decided to publish a book if you've decided to publish a course an ebook what is it about this product that makes it stand out to all the other products in that same niche the ultimate way to success is to not saturate the market with very generic ideas every time you release a product or service you need to make sure that it's bringing something new and fresh to the table rule number eight pretty simple nurture your community as you're monetizing your skill you need to remember to make people feel welcome into your new community and it's very simple you can do this by responding to comments responding to dms do things that are interactive like going on live streams putting up polls on your stories basically making your audience feel like you're there for them keeping your audience happy and engaged is going to benefit you in so many ways even in a business-minded sense because say you have a set of people that absolutely love your content and they know that you're responsive they're always in the comments and stuff like that so you make a post on instagram for example and your post is shown to that same set of people in their home page and they interact with it like they should the algorithm is going to pick up your post as a good post and push it out to the explore page to people that have never seen your content before and that's just one reason as to why you should be building a strong relationship with your audience rule number nine is generate and sell now while you're considering on how you can benefit people you need to make sure that it's a two-way system or in other words that it's not a one-sided relationship because as much as i stress giving out free value you also need to be compensated to some extent you need to make sure that you're getting paid fairly for the effort that you're putting in and this is another thing that i really need to stress do not undervalue yourself from the beginning this is a very common mistake i see people making when they're starting their businesses and just understand one thing people get scared by high prices but they also get scared by low prices because low prices normally reflect as low quality and that's not how you want your product or service to come across and the tenth and final rule which is the absolute most important rule is to just start start working on your hobby start mastering those skills start putting yourself out there start making that content there's no point you getting through this video and having all these ideas and all this motivation bubbling if you're not actually going to do anything with it take these ideas out of your head and put them into actionable steps your ideas ideas and your goals and your visions they all have a shelf life so you need to be writing them down and working on them right away you can't just have an idea in your head you need to write the idea down on a piece of paper or in your notes up on your phone and you're going to write down exactly how you can get started with this idea how you can bring this idea from your mind into reality because think about it, it can go one of two ways you come up with an idea you act on it it's a success you make millions you get to live the life of your dreams or you just don't do anything and you hear a few years down the line that someone else has used that exact same idea and is now living your dream life off your idea see how the only difference is the action that was put behind the idea and the outcomes are completely different make sure that my video doesn't end up like every other video that you've probably watched so far where it's inspired you it's made you want to take some action to better your life or to start something new and it's just an idea you wake up the next day the motivation is gone i'm telling you this is the number one life tip that i've learned 
moment so far if there's anything in life that motivates you or gives you a new idea act on it right away I have faith in you guys and that's all from my side today i hope this video inspires you to just come out of your shell and start earning money from your passion if you have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you haven't give this video a big thumbs up because it makes sure that more people get to see it i'll see you guys in the next one